Okay. Okay, hi YouTube. Um, let me just check I am recording before I continue. Yes, I am. Okay, we are just over three minutes out from the Mech Mount Eden Cycles race on Swift. Uh, can't remember the distance, I think it's 36, something like that. It's got quite a long lead in on it. Um, so I'm going to give that a crack tonight. Uh, Cat C as usual. Just trying to do similar to last week, maybe a little bit better. Apparently last week I managed uh, 54.49, so just see if we can beat that time this week. But it depends if I get dragged in a group or if I end up on my own. Um, I'm carrying a little bit more fatigue this week as well because I've done a bit more running. I'm starting to get over this knee injury, although doing so much running and starting to build it up, I am starting to get a little bit of pain in my right knee again. So. I'll see how that goes. I have to try and keep cadence up this week, but I didn't manage it last week, so we'll see. Anyway, it's got the one fan going at the moment, so you should be able to hear. I'll try and keep the other fan up for the first seven or eight minutes, but we'll see after that. This is a tiered release, so cat A's have already gone, cat B's are just heading off. Um, I think they go off in a minute, actually. That might have just been the A's that just went there. It's quite a big field today. There's 19 signed up. There's only nine or ten in the game. Um, don't recognise most of the names apart from one, uh, Davina, who I think I raced with yesterday, uh, last last week round. But um, I can't remember if we. Yeah, Davina's just joined, but I can't remember if we finished together or uh, if they were one of the ones that went off way ahead of me. Because uh, Cat C, you get a lot of sandbaggers uh, who are actually A's that just want to have an easy ride. And then you get a lot of D's who fall off the back as well, so I usually end up in the middle between the two groups. See so how we go. I haven't done a particularly great work or uh, warm out this week either. I've just uh, just done like 10 minutes of light pedalling, which probably won't be enough. So the, the, probably the first 10 minutes are going to be pretty brutal. So if I can survive the first 10 minutes, um, I'm just going to hold on and see if I can see if I can finish the race with a group or some sort of group with a couple of others. No promises. This is not Cat A racing here. This is this is real real Swift <laughs> Cat C holding on for survival, <laughs> just trying to finish. Five laps plus the lead in. It's got a kicker halfway round right near well three quarters of the way round. There's an up, a flat, and up, and it's usually where I get dropped because I'm quite heavy. So if I can hold myself through those ups, I've got a chance. Okay, 20 seconds out. Final checks. Everything's good? We're good, just the one fan to turn on, I'll do that later when I'm riding. That'll be quite noisy unfortunately, I need to move that fan somewhere else so that it doesn't pick up so much for you guys, but uh, I might have to do that before next time because I haven't got time this week. Well, let's get the beans. Yeah, see, <laughs> that guy's gone out the gate at 10 watts a kilo, so Bye bye. You can go. Or 
week, yeah. Let's just find out who the real cat sees are and who the sandbaggers are. Zwift does start very hard, very fast out the gate, so it's can be quite tricky to tell if you're going too hard or if... Oh, he's coming back again. Maybe he's real if he went too hard. <laughs> It's hard to work out if you've gone too hard or if uh, you're just that unfit to move to a front shot. Okay. A nice little pack early on. That guy's on a TT bike. Interesting. on a TT bike, which means he's either super noob or super strong. <laughs> he doesn't need the draft. I guess we'll find out. Oh, I hate this leading man, he's got a heel on it. I don't like that Zwift gets rid of your power-ups at the start because I had an arrow. Didn't try to get one, I just had one in the warm-up. Last week a group of three went off the front and another group of two. I'm glad I didn't go with them, so we'll see about this week. This looks like a better bunch so far. Draw that heart rate. Fan's gonna have to go on in a minute. <laughs> two minutes in. Oh, it's sprung out already. Let's bridge, let's bridge up. Might be a mistake, but it's only a small bridge. ratio is. It goes right in the middle of the cassette, but it's quite a jump. It's a 53 on the front, but you know what the back is. I don't like, I don't like falling off the back with uh, like Asian Korean types because uh, they tend to be quite light, quite fast up the hills, and then they, you go back with them and then they hit a hill and realise they've dropped and they, 
and zoom off and you're left on your own. So, yeah, that's it. Bring me back up. The worst thing about this course is that even. It looks like we've got a solid pack there, so. If I can stay with them, there's like guys on the TT as well. Um, if I can stay with that pack for a while. This guy's not going to draft on me anyway, so. Five minutes for overheating. Oh, and there he goes on a hill. Just like I said. Anyway. Just gonna stay in contact. Start they've gone with. <laughs> Jesus, that's a fast start. Still made it. split quite significantly. One off the front, five, three in the back. So we're going to be three at the back. Not even with them at the moment. Against last week's time, 54.49, but I need this kind of group if I want to do it. Even if I just hold with them for as long as I can. What we got? Feather, 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 feather. Uh, early for aero, but I'll take it. If I drop, maybe. Seconds up. He's sandbagged. He's been chasing down.
use this blob effect. I'm going to need it because I'm not very strong. All right, I'm running, but suck a cycling. I'm not fast at running either, to be honest. Not endurance, but no speed. Blame the age. Blame the age. Yeah, 
think Davina, the one I ended up racing last week. supposed to be a sprinter right on the back of the group and not in contact. Where's the legs? Oh, I think I'm going to get dropped. I think they're gone this week. Where are all my options? Right, I'm right between two groups. Sorry guys. Just don't have it this week. So, I don't know how it. I need to be doing more leg strength. I just, uh, I just haven't got it in my legs. Yeah, they're drafting the way for me. Probably not even doing any more watts. Yeah, 2.1, I'm doing 2.6. No chance. If I'm lucky one of them will drop. I can race. Otherwise, I'll just poop around. Uh, that's going to be a pretty boring video for you, but that's how it goes sometimes. Oh well, at least it gives us a chance to chat. <laughs> so what I do in these situations, I set myself a minimum heart rate. I think last time it was 150-ish. Oh, let myself come down 150 and do a workout, a straight workout. Yeah, they're going to be... See, they're already 16 seconds on me. As soon as you drop, it's, it's a death sentence. I'm not, I'm not even halfway around the course, around the race. But, here's what it is. So, I've got a few options. One is to do an interval workout, which I might do in the last lap, a few, few efforts, sprints. Um, the other one is to use an easy gear, just a spin ride, high heart rate, but given I need strength in my legs, and I am carrying fatigue, which is probably why I just got dropped, um, I'll just uh, keep the heart at 150, and uh, Last lap, I'll, I'll push on that hill and I'll, I'll push on the finish. It's just give me a little bit of workout. But yeah, well, bugger. What happens sometimes? It's a shame because I'd love to show you really good finishes and that, but I don't have a team and I'm not very strong. I have to be drafted all the way to the finish. It's like Sea Woods is up here by me, I might better hang with him. Right, stick it with me. Fair enough. Maybe we'll be able to do calls together. See if he wants to pull in a second. <coughs> well, maybe. Oh, he's doing 20s. 
Yeah, I don't mind doing 20, uh, 20 revolution pulls, but I think I prefer the 50s because 20s are so short that it takes a while to actually get past each other. Yeah, I'll be coming by again. Here it comes, yeah, so 20s. Okay. and he's yeah and he's dropping so he's he wants to do 20s okay we can do that or he doesn't want to do 20s all right stay in the front seat like it i'm going in the other i haven't got anything else this weekend I'll try filming for you. It's probably going to be 18k or so, so tomorrow is my rest day because I have chores to do. Oh, looks like we might have got one. Looks like a different cat. Different cat. So I ended up ninth. <laughs> I see wood. So think about Swift, I don't understand. That guy's. I see wood that just went by me. He's not on the timer. He should be like 20 seconds ahead of him, doesn't he? I don't understand. Probably save that area for the end then. Not that there's any point, I guess. Burn it. I might get some XP. I'm trying to get to level 22. Can't even remember what the reward is, but I seem to remember it was something nice, shiny. Oh, that's a little bit low. Struggling to get my heart rate up on the bike. Struggling to get it down when I'm running. back in one day. 
Whereas hiking, I do like to hike. I'll probably do some videos eventually of hiking around the mountains, but um, you know, it's overnight and it takes a whole weekend. Running's a half day, four or five hours. I much prefer it. But you need the endurance. And it's very hard to have endurance and speed. And as you get older, you tend to lean towards the endurance anyway, so it makes these sort of races difficult. I might go in the Cat D's next week. But what I find is that like the B's, the C's and the D's, there's not a ton of difference. It just if you get dropped, you just get dropped harder. You know, you fall off the back the back of the B's by five metres, you're done. But if I get dropped by the D's sometimes I can't catch them. You know, the thing is with the D's as well, a lot of them are not really racing, they're just training or whatever. So you never know who you're racing. You, think you're going to have a good race and then the person just drops out, they have no intention of finishing, or it's a cat A sandbagging and you get near the end and they just destroy you and you thought you were going to have a fun sprint, nothing. Yeah, see I beat up Val Devine enough last week, pretty sure I beat by a second or two, now the two minutes up on me, you know. I'll try this course again next week, just see how I go. Normally I, I have a light day on Wednesday, but the way my week worked out, I ended up doing a, a hard run yesterday. Oh, let me tell you a story. I'll probably put this on my training log as well, because some people don't watch cycling, they just like the running ones. So I was, I was out for a run a couple of days ago, and my watch almost killed me, because I updated my Garmin watch. That's the latest version. And I have a stride power meter. Actually, I'm going to do a review on the stride. And I'll mention this in the, in the review as well. But Oh my god. When you update it, it resets the stride field. So it was three second average of my power. And it, it turned out it changed the lap average like since you lapped. And uh, I went out the door, I was putting out, I don't know, 250 watts or whatever, and the idea of the run was to go a little bit harder on the hills and then come back, so I looked out, I'm doing 250, whatever, and I'm like, right, you know, I'll do 280, 290 on the hills, which normally, well, especially on a hill, it's quite hard to do 280, you'd actually have to, you have to pull back, otherwise you do too much. And I was like, I don't want to blow myself up, so let's just stick at 280 watts or whatever. And I was, going harder, it's like 2.51, and I'm like, man, I thought I went half, went a bit harder, it's like 2.53 or something, I'm like, oh my god, I've lost so much fitness, I've lost so much fitness, so I am just hammering, and at this point I'm like, I've been running for like a quarter of an hour at this point, so the, the average isn't changing very much, <laughs> I stop, and I'm like, okay, there must be something wrong, so I disconnect the foot pod, reconnect the footpod, restart the event, start running again. And it's registering like 400 or something, you know, like crazy. Well, like, no, no, I started walking, so it's like 250 somehow, 280. But I, I start going hard and it goes up quite quick. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then uh, I get to the top of the hill, run down, so quite low wattage on the way down again. And of course, it's, the average is getting longer and longer over time. So I get to the next hill and the same thing happens. I, I get quicker and quicker and quicker and I am just hammering up this hill like so hard I, I probably was doing like 550, 580 watts like pretty much as hard as I can up this hill I get to, I had to stop just at the top normally I just jog up this hill and like carry on but I had to stop at the top for a second because I thought I was going to die I thought I was legit going to die and uh, I realised when I looked at the watch it was saying uh, power you know, lap average. I was like, oh, you, oh, you bastard. <laughs> yeah, so I'll put this in the review of the stride as well, but if you have one and you patch your garment and you don't want it on lap average, make sure you put it back on three second average or whatever, because it's great having a power meter for your shoe when you're running. It's like having a power meter on the, on the Zwift here. It's awesome, but damn near killed me. 
<laughs> yeah, that was that was funny. But I, I loaded the uh, the uh, workout into training peaks, which has an intensity factor for every workout. And it was like 0.97 for that workout, which is supposed to be 0.6, like the easy run, you know, just 0.65 somewhere around there. It's <laughs> 97% intensity for a jog. Anyway, so that's why I'm fatigued. <laughs> that was the day, I think that was the day before yesterday. I can't remember what I did yesterday. I went for a slow run yesterday, same route. I had my watch fixed. But yeah, still a bit fatigued. I don't think that's why I got, it might be why I got dropped. Uh, anyway, 12k left. On my own, in no man's land. Ugh. I need like Tetris or something. Something to do. I need to get myself some followers on YouTube. People will be commenting, throwing shoes at me, calling me rubbish. That kind of thing, you know? Oh my god. I don't think I'm uh, coming back on my thing. I'm going to get lapped. <laughs> Yeah, my heart rate's dropped as well, to be fair. But, it's very hard to be motivated when you're on your own. Uh, we've got a Taupo run coming up. Five weeks, so I'm focusing on the running. I'll only be jogging that one around with Joe filming and stuff. Um, but then after that, there will be a little gap of a month where I can probably do two or maybe three zips a week at least two and uh, then I'll um, start building up for the Tarawira 50 which distance wise shouldn't be too, too bad I've done that kind of distance before but um, I want to run it and do it so I want to be quite in good shape for that having said that I do want to get better at Swift Oh yeah, give me the free draft. <laughs> Thanks, Swift. Uh, we're on that three. Yeah. If anybody does uh, watch this video, and you've watched all the way to here, or you Rocked forward to this point of the video. Do leave a comment and uh, let me know what you think because uh, well, I've never had a comment and you could be the first one and you know I'll read it. So make it nice. <laughs> I don't know. If you like these type of videos, I'll keep putting them up. Uh, I tend to run this, do this race every week, but I could do some different courses maybe. There are some other nice flat ones now that they've added. Uh, the desert. Um, maybe the redwoods. It's got hills, but I think they're rolling. But I'm, I'm rubbish on hills. Um, well, apparently I'm rubbish on flat as well. So. I used to be quite good on the flats. I used to be able to hang with the seas at like fifth. And then uh, sprint finish. One or two guys would go off the front. Like sandbagging like way off the front. I might come like second, third, you know. Um, although it is, it is winter in the northern hemisphere, just starting up. A little bit early, maybe. I wonder if there's a some northern hemisphere people. All these people are apparently Australia and New Zealand. Apart from Mr. Wheatley. I do wonder if the competition's getting a little bit stronger, maybe. There's a cyclist up ahead. Looks like that Davina's dropped off. Oh, 40 seconds off. And four minutes up from me. I won't catch him. Oh, that's a shame. It's a shame I can't race them. But it's a shame they didn't get to stay with the group. They're in no man's land like I am from the looks of it. That's a shame. Looks like Davina might run this one every week. It's 
so if she's in this race next week, or he, I think it's a she, but if, it's, if they're in this race next week, I'll try, try and just stick with them, because last week I managed to beat them, so for when it's up this week, 54.49 I did last week, so I'll be, be lucky to break the hour. Ah, that's poor, man. Real poor. Doing all the work this week as well. See, I'm going at 100. Let's uh, concentrate on the cycling for a bit. My pedal stroke. There, see. 190 to 260. Just focus. 10k left. Absolutely, really can't be bothered to sprint the last lap, but I will, since I said I would. To all zero people watching this, I, uh, I guess I should keep my promise. Minus 12 on Training Peaks, which is, um, I'll do a review on Training Peaks as well at some point, because I really, really like Training Peaks, it's awesome, um, thanks Swift, um, yeah, Training Peaks is saying I'm slightly overtrained, only a little bit though, yeah, I have been uh, piling on a bit of weight lately, a couple of kilos, so need to get that gone. What I really need is long rides. Um, I could maybe do longer rides, but um, I don't know if you'd really enjoy watching a four hour video. When summer comes, I'll go for a ride out, so I'll go for a That'd be quite nice video. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I bought a GoPro. I haven't filmed with it yet. Uh, no, I have filmed, but I haven't uploaded anything. But, um, yeah, you'll get to... Oh, God. my arm, right? Um, yeah, I should make uh, some of those running shots a little bit better when we go through the forest. There's a uh, awesome shot with the P20 phone straight until you start moving. You know, it's just terrible. God, I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. We're starting to come up with a uh, schedule of uploads. And this is all kind of tentative, but it's looking like it's going to be Tuesdays for Zwift uploads, uh, Thursdays for a training log, either mine or Joe's alternating. So one every week, but alternating whose it is. And then the adventure run ones. I'm going to try and do one every other week, but it might end up being once a month because it takes about five hours to edit and I want to do a better job of the edit next time so it's going to take longer than that. I'm going to try and sign up for a music service as well, get some decent music on the, on the videos. 
wasn't really happy with it last time. We'll see. I guess this serves as a secondary training video. Joey went out for a run today actually, outside. But doesn't like filming on our own. Yeah, so we are four weeks out until the Torpo Ultra, which is October 12th. So I'll film that and I'll probably upload it in the week after. That'd be a nice video. Mostly I'm going to try and capture the uh, event itself rather than our particular run. We've not been to this one before and I think it'll be interesting to look back on for next year. It's quite local to where we live so we'll probably end up going over a year. I don't know which distance but we were supposed to do the 50 this year but probably going to be dropping down to the 24 I think it is. So, oh yeah. 7.6k. Two more hills. Yeah, yeah you see my heart rate. It's really hard to keep your, keep your effort going when you're on your own. I feel like I'm going hard, but I'm obviously not. Maybe it's just because I'm not drafted. Start your entire computer. Uh, no, thanks. Thanks, no. I'll have to remember to do that before I shut it off, otherwise, we'll do it next time I turn it on. Oh, please. It's not a case. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, the A's going by. Got their way off the front, those ones. Some more on the horizon. Oh. God, they are way off the front, those ones. I can't even see them. The next one's coming. There's one back there. They're trashing the competition. Interesting to see what time they get when I finish. They're going to be in. Um, 30 seconds up, I'd say. Let's 
coming from the radar, so this is a V coming through, like a rocket ship. Yeah, I'm not going to be drafting that. I'm going to draft this D though. Oh, it's still way back. Half a minute on the Vina, but I'm not going to catch her. And they're way off in no man's land. See, that's what happens. That's exactly what happens in Zwift. They stuck with the group longer than me, dropped just as bad as I did, but because they got that draft, insurmountable lead. Three and a half minutes, I'm never going to catch them. If I had these catching me. Do you know I'm or something? Myself, I'm just going to upload every every Swift, no matter the result, it's just so I can get some experience with filming and Swift and everything else. And because otherwise, I'll quit. You know? <laughs> it's depressing to get dropped, but it is part of the sport. That's why I like running, man. You get dropped, there's no physical barrier in. Yeah. So this guy's reeling in. Yeah, looks like he's trying to bridge. He's on the tron bike. Yeah, the old cat D tron biker. Uh huh. Sure. When we get to the end, you'll realise this person will do about 73 kilos. Drafting. Do the rest. I can't go on the front. I know you want me to go on the front, but I'm not going to do that for you. some of the pace off of. Guy, I'll take it out the front. They're going to think I'm racing, and then you're going to realise this cat D is actually a K or a B, sandbagging. They're going to smash me on the finish when they think I'm trying to race. That would be my guess. International sign for I'm knackered, you go in front.
Drinks he had. At least we're on the last lap. This is a guarantee this person's going to drop me when they think I'm racing. Especially when I drop my little feather. But it's not personal. Unless they try and drop me down. Which is fair enough. I don't see how many people are with powering as well because I don't count those. How many people are actually on power meters? Well, even with that, I think I, don't done, I haven't done much better than six this week. I'm going to go statue to statue because I'm going to try and sprint and finish a bit as well. Sorry for this guy, he's gonna, he's gonna be really annoyed thinking I'm not playing good ball now. be a slow one because uh, like a slow build. I always get worried about snapping the band in this trainer, which I have done once already. Oh, where's that cut D's going to come up on me fast, I think, I think they're going to try, which is nice, <coughs> my ego at least.
Oh, it's just because it's dark, the shadows aren't well done. Well, my graphics turned down to low, maybe. Let's do a 300, classic 300 meter sprint. Where's the uh, chocoboard? Let's go green to finish. <coughs> Here it comes. Target, is that going? <laughs> yeah. That wasn't a great sprint, though. Just a 626. Not too bad. Two minutes slower than last night, last week. Not bad considering I got dropped. Yeah. Davina 5415. So. 30 seconds quicker than last week. But lower, lower watts, lower watt average. Yeah, I should have just drafted it. Just uh, got dropped. It went hard on the heart rate there. See what see those guys on the front row. Right? Oh, yeah, a B, but how B1 at sure. 48.51. Ten minutes quicker. Nice. Oh. Anyway, hope you uh, enjoyed that. I'm sorry I got dropped, but that's how it goes sometimes. And uh, see you again next week, I guess. Do leave a comment and uh, do like and hit subscribe, because especially the like button helps the YouTube algorithm out. And it'd be nice to get a couple of subscribers, have some people to talk to. So yeah, see you again.